Are you in love? Do you feel it in your stomach? Does it twist and turn and scream and burn and make you start to cry, but you like it? Don't want to let it slip away. Does it stretch into your throat until you don't know what to say? Does it hold you under its pillow in the night? It kills you with its passion and in its endless beam of light. When you see yourself in the future, frail and gray, who do you want beside you when you wake to start your day? Yeah, it's extreme. I know what you're going to say. I'm being too dramatic, but this feeling feels this way. Are you in love? Do you feel it in your spine? Shaking, waking, tearing, breaking, taking its sweet time. But you want it. Yeah, you need it just to breathe. You're never sure of what trick it's pulling from its sleeve. So if you said yes to all the things above, then yes, my friend, I am sorry. It appears you are in love. So the last of my favorite daughters has finally got married. And doesn't she look beautiful? Yes! I didn't say that the last time. So. <laughs> and obviously, she's, you can see where she's got her beauty from. <laughs> so, it's amazing that uh, we've actually got here after all these years. Um, I mean, to think back on the way up here in the van, you know, when they were both my daughter, that's my other daughter over there, by the way, that's the lady. Um, when they were both tots, I used to sing songs to them. Spider in the Bath and Paul and Bill were favourites. Uh, and there was one particular favourite for me, it was a song I actually made for Sarah. Um, <laughs> A pity I haven't got my guitar with me today, but, you know, I could have performed that for you, but uh, I'm hoping that the band are going to let me do it later on. <laughs> if I ask them nicely. But I have got the words to the song. It's, uh, Sarah, you're a strange one. Sarah, you're a strange one. You live in a boot and you wear a bright blue suit. Sarah, you're a strange one. Now, it might not mean a great deal to you, but it meant a lot to me. I don't quite know at the time what I was actually thinking, but it was just, you know, great fun. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the band will let me do that later. Yeah. Back to seriousness, really. You know, I don't think there's any of us that have had a, a really easy life this last couple of years. Uh, obviously, our family have been through a bit, to say the least. Um, and, you know, we, we've come out to the other side. Um, and I'd like to thank the support from Amanda and Chris, obviously, all these years looking after our Sarah when we've not really had the time to give her all the attention that we wanted to. Um, and, you know, I can honestly say between myself and Will that, you know, we couldn't have wished for a, a better family to, to marry into, so I thank you for that. That's all I've got to say. It's very short and very sweet. A um, few memories moving forward. We're going to make a few more memories. Uh, I'll be seeing the band later on to see if I can actually get up and perform the song. So stick around. Um, I think we've all got a drink in front of us. I'd like you to raise your glasses to the bride and groom, Sarah and Luke. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And on behalf of Luke and Sarah, we'd like to welcome you all here today to Alcumlo Hall Farm to witness and celebrate this very special occasion, the day of their marriage. So Luke and Sarah are now before us 
for in each other's company, they have found happiness, fulfillment and love. And they now wish to affirm their relationship in your presence and ask for your guidance and love as they start this new life together. The institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full unreserved consent of you both. So may these rings serve as a reminder of the vows you've made here today, but also the feeling that you have in your heart at this very moment. So Luke and Sarah, you are now with this start of a new life together. Treasure this trust and responsibility. And may the feelings of love that you obviously have for one another grow deeper and stronger. You have both made the declaration that are required by law, but you've also said some very special promises to each other. It therefore gives me the very greatest pleasure to say, you are now married. Past five or six years, I've spent numerous evenings at Amanda and Chris's house, boring Luke and his family to tears with fitness facts and my latest life philosophies. I'm actually amazed they put with me for this long, to tell you the truth. I can't imagine my life without them. So I'm getting to know the Gordons and the Garners. Yeah. Shout out. It's been a pleasure. And are some of the caring, most caring, kind, compassionate and loving people that I've ever met. And I'm sure that Sarah can echo this when I say that I don't know where or who I'd be without them. So I was going to take this moment whilst I blubber <laughs> just to say thank you to them um, and everything that I appreciate the, all the things that you've done for me. So if we give them a round of applause. It gives me a moment. Love, I'm going to go there. It's such a strange phenomenon. It can't be seen, it can't be touched or held. It can't even really be explained. I'm going to try though, right? Or truly understood. It's intuitive, it's instinctive. It's a gut feeling that you get. It's a willingness to keep showing up again and again and again. Even when nothing makes sense getting choked up by my own speech. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you know, I'm think, thinking of things that saying you look and Sarah obviously makes me a bit emotional, but... But that can be tough, right? Because, let's face it, relationships are hard. Like, they're really hard. They're not supposed to be easy. Romantic and platonic. 
They're incredible too, don't get me wrong, but they're definitely challenging. But maybe that's how it should be. I guess the beauty of a good relationship is that it forces you to grow and adapt and change in ways that you never dreamed were possible. That you, can't, you couldn't have achieved on your own. And that's what a good partner does. That's what a good friend does. They love you unconditionally and invite you to become a better version of yourself. After a crazy and unpredictable 18 months, it means a lot to these guys, it means a lot to me and the families that you've chosen to spend the time with us and travel from wherever you come from, you know, to spend the day being present with us here. So, so yeah, thank you for that. So, without further ado, you know what this means, right? If you raise a glass with me, I'd like to propose a toast to Luke and Sarah, the bride and groom, husband and wife. I love you both dearly. May your life be an adventure that you get to go on, not a trial that you need to endure. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you. I want to say um, a massive thank you to you guys, to my new in-laws, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start calling Fred Dad because I know how much it winds him up. So thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mum. No, I just, I just want to say a few words about them both. So, Will, uh, you're one of the most caring, most passionate people that I've ever met in my life. And I'm really glad that you've allowed me to come and join your guys' family, it means the world to me. Fred, I, as you mentioned in his story, I, I was made redundant. Fred gave me the kind of opportunity to come work with him for a bit to kind of, I saw it was meant to be a little three month thing, and it'll be nine months. And we had a good time, mate. So I just want to say thank you to you for, for everything. Uh, I just want to let you know that Sarah's in, in good hands. I'll promise I will look after her, I know. It's going to beat me up if I don't. So, no, no. <laughs> no, honestly, no, honestly. She's, I just want to say thank you to you guys and all the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then lastly, my wife. She is the, the love of my life, the rock that I lean on. Um, Trying to be romantic. I, I, <laughs> no, thank you. Thanks, mate. Um, so, a little story time. Um, when, <laughs> don't, 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 look, don't look too scared. Yeah, just say it. So, a little story time. When I was first, mine Sarah's first date, I had no idea that it was a date. I thought that, like, ch well, um, Charlie and Liam were going to kind of turn up. I was quite surprised when it was just us two. So we went to the cinema together, watched the film, and about halfway through, I could feel her head kind of just leaning on me. I was like, oh, this is going, this is going quite well. Like, she's, <laughs> she's feeling quite comfortable around me. I'm like, no, she's, she's not taking her head off. She's still going, like, she's still there. She'd fallen asleep. <laughs> she fell asleep on the first day, and I could tell that she's kind of fallen asleep now during the speech, so I'm going to wrap this up a little bit. Isn't she amazing? Yeah. <laughs> I love you so. I love you so much. You look beautiful. You made me cry earlier uh, when you walked down the aisle. I've never, I never thought I'd do that, but I, I honestly did. You mean the world to me. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. 
and I'm not very good at wrapping stuff up, so I'm just going to say a toast to my bride, to Sarah. <laughs> I just wanted to start as me, me to the one in our married life together. And that's me getting the last word. <laughs> um, I just want to reiterate what everyone else has said, uh, how much it means to my husband and I. Very weird. Um, that you're all here with us today. Um, most of us have been in pyjamas for the past 18 months, so I'm glad that we could all give everyone a reason to get tarted up. Speaking of tarts, my bridesmaids. <laughs> very harsh, very, very harsh. Um, no, but you all look absolutely incredible. Thank you for all playing your own parts in today and having my back during three years of mental breakdowns, existential crises, all the rest of it. You know what I'm like. I love you all dearly. <laughs> my in-laws, Manda and Chris. Now, every chick flick comedy that I've ever watched teaches us that in-laws are terrifying. They're like a scary final boss in a video game. And I can honestly say hand on heart that this absolutely isn't the case with these two. Um, in fact, everyone in this room would probably agree that I have the most kindest, loving in-laws ever. So thank you for everything that you've done, helped put into today and letting me marry your son and loving me like the daughter-in-law from the start. <laughs> Dad, Mum, Mama T, as she's affectionately called by pretty much everyone here. Um, I think my dad mentioned, but as a family, um, for the past year, we appear to have only known stress, anguish, loss. Um, and you're both the most strong and supportive people in this room for me. Um, thank you for teaching me to be the best version of me, for me, and supporting me to be as strong as you guys. Now, there's so much to say after almost eight and a half years together, but there's a phrase that comes to my mind, uh, and it's about time. Now, hear me out. It's not about doing the dishes or taking the bin out. Um, so the first time I actually heard this phrase was back in 2013 when Luke and I uh, were working at Towers together, as has already been mentioned. Our friends and colleagues knew that we'd end up together before we did. And after tiptoeing around the subject, um, Luke telling me that he'd go and get a half sleeve done, but never did to this day. <laughs> um, we, we actually attended a house party for a friend's birthday, wearing Charlie Clark, front and centre. Big round of applause to Charlie for a speech earlier on. <laughs> Where Miss Clark, front and centre, after many shots and God knows what else, staggered out of the house and told Luke and I when we were having a serious conversation, hang on, got to get the feeling and the tone right. <clears throat> You guys should just get together for the summit. <laughs> was that accurate? Yeah. Guilty. Great. <laughs> and then that was official. So another key time for this phrase was September 2018 when Luke proposed against the gorgeous backdrop of a theme park in Germany called Fantasia Land, which is in, in Germany. In fact, all of the tables here today represent different rides and attractions there. We had a lovely proposal in a gorgeous location overlooking the river on a glorious September sunny afternoon. Even though, when asked where he popped the question to his friends and family, he referred to it as a lay-by. <laughs> <laughs> but it was worth the wait and it was magical. The third time this phrase meant a great deal was actually this morning um, when I was getting in my dress, getting all emotional. Um, as you Guys all know we were meant to have this day last year, but now thanks to the new worst C word, we had to wait and put our lives on hold. We both really struggled with this, but the perspective made us so lucky considering how many loved ones were taken from people over the past 18 months. Um, and quite frankly, this man is worth the wait. Um, <laughs> Luke, you've seen me through my darkest days and have been the direct cause of some of my brightest. Thank you for being my best friends. 
and they're having to reverse limbo every time you give me a kiss. <laughs> I can't wait to go through life together as husband and wife. Um, and before I get too emotional and before everyone's stomachs start to rumble over the sound of my voice, I just want to um, finish with a toast and flip the phrase, it's about time on its head. Um, at a time where we had to postpone the wedding and one phrase gave me really great comfort and is currently on our blackboard in the kitchen. And that phrase is, with love and patience, nothing is impossible. So, to love and patience. Love and patience. Thank you. <laughs> Oh 
At the start of the year, here comes your white knight. Got a foot on the edge, looking over the ledge, and everything will be just fine. Turning inside out, falling out of time. If it's the final story, it's death and glory, and tomorrow the sun will rise and we'll start over. Okay.